kind of be in the back, kind of starting the process uh, toward the 2002 se- 2022 season? Yeah, it's always good to get back, and you know, we, it didn't end like we wanted to, but it's a time to regroup, rebuild, and refocus. And that's what the offseason is about: is getting the right mindset. Uh, we can go out there, clean up some stuff, and offseason is about changing, some, working on the details, and trying to get your game to a higher level. Do you want guys coming in here kind of mad about what happened with the Bengals, or do you want everybody fresh slate and let's let's just be happy and go forward? Um, everybody handles um, defeat differently. For me, it's it's a motivation to come back to work. It's a it's a mindset that I can use every day working out meetings. Um, because until you win it all, you're you're falling short every year. So I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to be working, and it's just another day in the office that we starting a new season and trying to refocus and get on the right foot. How long did it take you to get that bad taste out of your mouth from that loss, or is it still there? Yeah, um, it's a while. It's all during the playoffs when it's going on. My mindset's always until the Super Bowl is over, because you're expecting on playing, so no travel plans, none of that's going on until after it. Um, yeah, it, you still see clips. ESPN shows stuff all the time of different clips and stuff. So you're always like, man, we let, we left out on the opportunity, but I'm blessed and grateful to get another one. Happy to be here and. And that's the way it starts now. They knew to the left of you for the first time a little bit. How do you go about, you know, adjusting and, and getting that chemistry like you and Saffold had? Right. Um, that's what the off season's about. Camp um, is taking the reps uh, as many reps as possible with any combination, and they do a great job with the coaches by working different guys in and OTAs and camp. And that's what it's about. It's building those bank reps because when you get in the game, you rarely. You see, you play five guys the whole year on the offensive line. You always have guys rotating in and out from injuries and health standpoint. But it's always good at this time to be in the meeting room with them, hearing my voice and other guys, and kind of build that camaraderie right now. Man, what's it been like watching a lot of teams in the AFC really loading up this year? I think we, um, I think we did a good job too. Uh, yeah, we're building something special here, and we've done it over the past. Um, say four years with Vrabel, and it don't, we don't need just one year to go out and get talent. Uh, it's a process. You have to trust the guys who they put in the room. You're here for a reason, and it's not. you just don't need one player to win a championship. It takes a team to win a championship. It had been, I know protection was, was an issue for you guys last year. Are there one or two things that maybe you guys are focusing on as, as you get ready for the OTAs and so forth, is, you know, maybe communication or anything like that? that yeah, um, it's technique. It's um, fundamentals. Um, you can only do your part as an offensive lineman. Um, it's it's you got to have 11 guys on the same page from from Ryan being confident in the receivers, the backs knowing their role, the O line doing their role. It's not just hey, it's one group. It, it takes a whole offense um, to be effective and be good. And no matter if it's protection or anything, you got to be all together. What have you seen from Aaron Brewer, a guy who could be that left guard when in the times that he's played so far? Yeah, he's, he's been a young guy who's really helped us a lot. He's stepped in in multiple roles in this offense, and he's a guy who comes to work. Um, he's eager to be in there, and he is he plays hard, and that's the guy you want. You know you know he's passionate. You know he cares about how hard he plays. You can't just say, hey, oh, he's a good kid. You turn on the tape, you know the guy, he really cares about how hard, how hard he plays. Have you met a lot of your new acquisitions, whether it's Robert or Austin or Jamarco, and, and- – What's it like, kind of getting to know those guys, and you kind of show them, showing them that I guess the Titan way. Yeah, right now this is a process. You really, you're not on the field much. Um, only thing I can do is show them my knowledge in the in the meeting room and how hard you work in the in the weight room, and that's what this process is about. It's building a relationship so they trust you when you make the call out there on the field. They have utmost respect for you and know what you're going. You're making the right call. Even when Dylan wasn't playing a whole lot. Last year, what did you see from him um, that makes you confident that he can take that uh, step forward in, in year two? Yeah, um, you're coming in as Dylan. Uh, he works hard every day. His mindset is in the right place, and it's it's another step. And he has to build on that. And no matter what you did last year, you got to come in and you got to earn everything. This is a what you do now business. Is no matter what you did last year in the past, you got to come in and earn it every day. And you were pretty emotional when the season ended. And you mentioned it didn't go the way you wanted. When you went through the offseason, you thought about your options. What was it so appealing to come back here 
to hopefully get to that ultimate prize. Right. Um, I've been so close multiple times, and if it's from high school to college to the pro, and I have the utmost folks that we can get it done here. I trust the coach. I trust this organization, and I want to win here. And it'll be that much more um, special to me to, to do it the right way and to end my career in Tennessee and winning the championship. In mind, you guys have talked in the past. You know, there was good to great the one year and having unfinished business and things like that. Is there sort of a slogan you come into this offseason with with this group? And, and how much can you build from last year to get over the hump this year, or is it totally a new process? Yeah, um, I think this team is maturing. We went from just getting into the playoffs a couple years and making a run to winning division to last year to winning the, the whole FC, uh, AFC. So it's building blocks. We're building confidence as an organization and the team that we can do it. We are the team. That, um, we, now, we, hey, why not us? And we're going out there and trying to earn it every day. And you got to build that every day. It's not just, oh, I have a slogan, I have this. It's what you put into it in the building. It's the days when you don't want to work. Those are the days that, that hey, it's gonna, you're going to remember when you win a championship. You mentioned the team maturing. You said over the years we've built this foundation. In, in the day-to-day, -day, how does that show up? What's different about your day in this building because of that foundation? Yeah, I'm here every day. No matter off-season thing, you always know I'm, I'm going to be in this building. Um, I love coming to work here. Um, even when I don't have to be here, I'm going to I'm going to show my face. I'm going to I'm, I can find always something to work on. If it's the physical side, if it's the mental side, um, this game takes a lot out of you, but it gives a lot back too. So I'm very blessed to be here, and. That's what, when you have a great coaching staff, players here, you want to be around this building, you want to be here, and you want to, you want to win a championship here. As a veteran, do you pay much attention to the draft and who they bring in, or you just wait till they get it done and introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, um, being in it now, going on 11 years, it's always an exciting moment for those kids. I know going through it, I was so excited, because you really, know, that's your first time, you don't have a say where you're going. Um, college, you, you have multiple offers. You get to kind of pick and choose, make that decision when your family. This is the opportunity where kids are just, hey, you're getting your name called. And so my role is, hey, we're happy to have you. What can I do to help you make your this transition easier for you? And I had guys do that for me in Houston. Guys do that when I came here in free agency, however many years ago that was. And it's an exciting moment for those kids, their family. They're getting an opportunity that you've worked for your whole lifetime. And now it's my point is like, hey, let's keep this going, not just be, hey, it's, it, you got to earn this. It's come when you came out, but your first significant time was at guard. There's going to be centers doing that in this draft. What was that process like for you, and what's some advice you would give to those guys? Right, um, going to Houston, I was drafted there. Um, we had a Pro Bowl center, Chris Myers, and just learning his routine, learning how um, what he did day to day in the building, his. Um, how he treated his um, family, the player, the dynamic between players and coaches. I learned a lot from that and how to how to build a routine. And he played nine or ten years in this league. Now I'm right there, and, I, and I've used that th same thing to, to kind of mold my career. Veteran, from your perspective, is it important as off-season training begins that as many guys as possible are here, as long as they're doing stuff on their own? Is that okay? To, what, what do you think? Yeah, um, off-season is about getting better and and whatever it takes to elevate your game to get us to the, as long as they have the same mindset and knowing what it takes to win a championship here. Everybody has their own way about getting to a certain goal and mine's being here. Can you make it to a new stadium in 2026? Year by year. If God still bless me, I'll be happy to be here. <laughs>